Hi, welcome to another flute review where we're going to be taking a closer look at one of the flutes from my collection. Thanks for joining me today where we're going to be looking at a flute from Tree of Life Designs or Tree of Life Flutes. The maker is Ed Doherty out of North Carolina. I'm pretty sure. I'll look that up. All the information will be down in the description uh, box below. He uses a one-piece solid bore construction on his flutes, has been doing that for quite a while. The flute that we're looking at today is a B flat. Um, I think that's what he's calling it here. Hold on. Yes, B flat. Some people call it an A sharp. Um, this is made from walnut. It has pipe stone inlay, rings. It has a separate nest that has been inset to make it into what I consider to be a raised nest. So the flat area is raised from the regular round portion of the flute. Um, he does that on many of his flutes, not every single one, but I think the majority of his flutes are made this way. The flue is in the flute body, the nest itself, and the block this has kind of a modern-esque bird-type design. It does have a fairly uh, deep chimney. The wings do extend the full length of the true sound hole, which measures 3 eighths of an inch wide by about a quarter inch long. And the wings of the chimney actually tip out over that the wall is perpendicular or, or 90 degree angle to the to the nest there. Um, his block is a, a laminate and I think the center is a flame box elder. The outer uh, pieces of the block look to be walnut to me. Nipple style mouthpiece. It has a 3 8 inch uh, diameter for the breath hole. Has a 3 quarter inch diameter for the uh, bore and about a 3 16 inch wall thickness. For that it has a little starburst pattern between the nest and the finger hole area with an inlaid uh, cabochon of abalone. I love those little accents that he uses on many of his flutes that way. No tuning holes at the foot end on this particular design of his. On some of his he does use the tuning holes. And here's the voice.
Ed Doherty, Tree of Life Flutes, a B flat walnut flute with a gorgeous voice, beautiful playability. His flutes have little hint of back pressure. Um, I have one flute that reacts very slightly different of his, but most of his flutes have uh, a pretty good range of dynamics. Um, very controllable uh, if you want to get up into that, break into that upper octave note. It isn't overly touchy and sensitive. It can be done easily if you want it to. Isn't as sensitive as some other flutes. Um, it isn't quite as stable as a couple of flutes that I have um, that, that require a lot of work to get up into the upper octave. Um, but a very, very musical flute, a very responsive flute to player input. For me and my playing style, Ed does a fantastic job. In fact, I had him custom make a flute. I'll include uh, a little link up here to a review on that flute. Um, he is the person I chose to make a custom flute. The only one that I had actually sent wood to to have a flute made for me because uh, I was afraid to do it myself at that time. So I still wouldn't have done it because I, on that particular one, I did want the solid one piece construction. I'm just not set up to do that. I don't think, honestly, either method is superior unless you don't want to disrupt the grain pattern by cutting the piece of wood in half and gluing it back together. It does change. You, you can see where the grain pattern has been uh, interrupted, <clears throat> excuse me, interrupted no matter how well you made up those sections again. So I, on that particular piece of wood, I didn't want any kind of a line down there. So I had Ed make me that flute. Thank you for tuning in and watching this flute review on a beautiful flute. Please, if you haven't already, subscribe. Click the little bell down over there next to the subscription button also so that you are notified when I post a new video. Whether it be a flute review like this, it could be a music video using the Native American flute, usually in place of vocals in the music that I play, or uh, just a solo flute piece by itself. It could be uh, the tutorials that I have available on how to play these beautiful instruments, simply starting as a beginner or in a uh, more intermediate type uh, way when you, if you want to improve your playing after you've been playing for a few weeks. Thanks again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. You take care.